I found a polluted creek filled with exotic aquarium fish. Tonight was like any other night where I go exploring, looking for the next catch. But unlike most nights, tonight is going to drop to 50 degrees. So I grabbed Captain K, my dip net, and my fish trap and set out to save some fish. This canal caught my eye. It is dirty, muddy, and full of fish. So I took my net and started trying my best to save the fish. It started off slow, only catching native species and basic invasives until we got the first exotic. Tonight we're going to be weathering the cold guys and seeing if we could catch any exotic fish from this filthy polluted creek. There's garbage littered everywhere in this creek right here. And today we're going to see if we could save any fish from the frigid temperatures in this nasty water. It's literally 50 degrees in South Florida right now guys, but I'm equipped with this net right here to see if we could pull anything up from the nasty mud. My first net right here, guys, is full of these polluted, dirty, nasty leaves. And unfortunately, guys, we didn't catch any fish in that net. We're not giving up on these fish, though, because even though this creek is drying up, we're going to still see what we could find in here. Oh, nasty bottle of whatever this is. Oh, but if you look here, guys, look, there's a baby fish, the smallest little jewel cichlid. Oh, <laughs> and we got this right here, too a beautiful native green molly. That's not the hottest start to the day, but we're still gonna see if we can't pull up anything. It's, oh, <laughs> oh, it's so nasty. Oh God, well, hopefully it'll be worth it. We got this next net right here, guys, and we're gonna check to see if we caught anything in here. Oh, oh, our first exotic. Look at that, guys, we got a beautiful, big cichlid now we don't know what fish this is but if you guys could identify it in the comments below let me know he's probably freezing right now so we're going to get him in the keeper bucket and hopefully he survives until we get home we're going to net through all the mud and filth and hopefully pull up fish now i'm hoping we could save some more exotics a lot of the native species we will have to leave behind but we'll see if there's anything in this nasty oh 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 no look at him okay he's still alive guys but if you look at him he looks horrible sunken belly he's definitely on the brink of death so hopefully we'll be able to bring this fish back to the house and save it from being in this cold weather and also not eating i would love to continue netting this to see if we can catch any fish but due to the weather guys we might just set a fish trap oh we caught one we might just set a fish trap and see what else we could pull up this is a native species well actually invasive and probably a native spider so i won't actually mess with him get him back so he doesn't turn me into spider-man but we're probably going to end up setting a fish trap to see what we could catch so me and camera girl could stay out of the cold my hands are turning into sausages right now and it's miserable out here before we go to set the trap however guys we did take a couple more nets to see what other fish we could pull up before we set the trap and we did end up catching a bunch of exotic fish for the fish trap guys we're going to be putting some cat food in it because as you guys know the fish love cat food all we have to do now guys is find a place to place the fish trap in the creek oh my god guys there are so many fish in here we just spooked them all but i just saw a bunch of cichlids darting into the grass oh my god we just found the mother load Look at all the fish in this part. So we're going to set the fish trap down in here and hopefully guys, we pull up some exotics as well. Although we just spooked a bunch of the fish. Record this. Oh, oh my God, look at all of these fish. I haven't seen anything. There's a fish right here. Let's see if I could get him. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, there's so many fish. Look at that guys. There's so many fish swimming into this tunnel. If you guys want to see a part two where we come through here and fish the tunnel, let me know. There are some species down there that I can't even, oh, look, there's a pike. And after seeing all these fish at the creek guys, I decided it was in my best interest to try to see what else we could catch in this part of the creek. I took net after net after net guys to see if we could catch anything exotic in this tunnel. Right here, oh, you heard that? Something just chirped at us. Look at this guy. Oh, guys, an exotic. Look, it's a black Akara. I have only caught these a handful of times before, maybe twice in my whole life. Just like those African cichlids, these guys shouldn't be in the water. Captain K actually spotted this one and I'm glad we decided to stop by. I'm gonna get him in our keeper bucket and see if we can catch anything else here aside from the Mayan cichlids. Being that we just caught another exotic fish by the tunnels, guys, I decided to look around and see if we could find anything a little bit more exciting. Oh, crawfish. Ah, oh, there's an egg right here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Look. Now, this is probably a rotten duck egg. So, we definitely don't want to mess with that. Thankfully, mama not around as far as we know. Oh, and look. There's a beautiful 
crawfish right here. Oh, feisty guy. Feisty guy. Look at that. That is an insane find. Is there anybody else in this net? No, it doesn't seem like we caught anybody else, but I'm actually going to return this one back to the wild. We're just going to let him go right here. Not only is this creek filling up, guys, but it is disgusting. If you look right here, this is actually the cap to somebody's insulin pen. So it's a pretty dirty place. Oh! <laughs> Wait, I didn't even. Are you recording? Guys, oh my god, here, hold this too. Ooh, wow. There's a huge snapping turtle down here. Oh my god. That is a monster. Let me see if I could get an angle on him. Hold this and keep a good watch for me, please. I'm about to go into the danger zone. Let me see. Oh, he's holding ground. I got his head up here. The water is actually surprisingly warm. He's tucking his tail. He doesn't want me grabbing it, but I got it. Oh, oh my God, he's massive. He's holding the ground. Oh, oh my God, look at this thing. This is a monster. Holy smokes. I'll see if I could grab his back foot or something so he doesn't damage himself while we try to catch him. Oh my God. Look at that in the garbage. We got a monster. Look at the size of this snapping turtle. It's got a smooth back, guys, so we know it's not an alligator snapping turtle, but he's so big that I can't actually do anything with him. So we're just gonna let Buddy go and he'll go back to terrorizing this drying up creek. Maybe we rethink going in the tunnel. This little creek is proving to be one of the most productive that I've ever fished. So we're gonna keep going through here. I'm standing on this little island to see, oh, they're jumping everywhere. Well, I'm not seeing any more right here. So we're gonna go check the trap. I see some fish down here, but after seeing that snapping turtle, I'm kind of scared. Oh, wait, no, ew. Wait, is that a chest piece? No, that's a little mouthpiece for uh, some unnatural things. Weirdos. It's been about half an hour, guys, that we've had this trap set in there, and I'm actually going to pull it now since we saw that snapping turtle. I would hate for him to come by and rip this thing up. Oh, all right, we got the drawstring. Can we see any fish in there yet? Oh, oh, oh my God, look at that. There are some crazy looking fish in here, guys. Oh, we're gonna get them in the bucket fast. I brought the keeper bucket down here now that we started catching some really cool fish because I really don't want. Oh, we got another black Akara, guys. Look at that. We'll see what else we got in here. Hopefully, oh, look at that cichlid. Now, you know, I do keep quite a few mimbunas and stuff like that. So you would think, look at this monster convict cichlid. Look at the nuchal hump on that guy. But you would think I'd be better at identifying these fish than I am. Because all mimbunas, all African cichlids look the same to me. I don't even know what these blue guys are. I usually just call them by their color. We're going to get him in the keeper bucket as well. Because we don't want them doing poorly because of the, Look at this monster firemouth cichlid. This thing is ginormous. We're gonna get him in here too. This cichlid trap is doing incredible. So we're gonna keep sorting through here. We're catching a bunch of little basic fish like this as well, but we're gonna see if there's any, oh, oh, look at the size on that one. That guy is a beauty. Look how many dots are by his fin. That's how you can tell that this is actually a male cichlid, but also look at these trailers. This guy is beautiful. But coming to the end of the trap, not seeing nearly as many exotics, a lot of random little, th oh, look. We haven't caught these in so long. Look at this, guys. A beautiful little Eastern happy cichlid. We're gonna get him in there. What else do we got? Some huge mollies. This guy is a monster. Look at the size on him. Not seeing anything else other than mollies and whatnot, so. Oh, wait, look. Look at that. Look at this catfish. Oh my God, his barbs are stuck. This is a mean, mean man right here. Let me see if I could free him without hurting him. He's caught by the fins. I might need to cut into this net to get this guy out of here. Look at this guy's beautiful, beautiful fish. I'm not seeing anybody else in the trap, but this one fish that we have stuck here. I've got these tiny cutters right here, guys, that we're gonna use to cut them out. Unfortunately though, it doesn't have scissors like I thought it did, so I have to use this knife. I'm gonna hold this one side of him, come over here. We're gonna have to put a pretty sizable hole in this net. Do not try this at home. 
Oh, I got, oh, I got it. Look at this, guys. We got a freaking catfish. If you know what species it is, let me know in the comments down below, but he looks crazy. We're going to get all these fish we caught back to the fish room and hopefully in a tank where they'll do better than they're doing in this polluted creek. Now we're back at the house, guys, with all the fish we caught, and it's really important that we get all these guys into a tank. So I actually do have a tank. We could throw a lot of these African cichlids as well as that acara, firemouth, all the bigger fish. We have this 120 gallon aquarium that sits right here. I just got to make sure we don't have anything weird in here. Oh, I just got to make sure we don't have anything weird in here. But we're going to get all these fish added into this 120 gallon aquarium. Boom, beautiful. This next net, guys, we got a bunch of fish. This one is not looking good at all. This monster catfish we caught, we have to get into a little heated tank so that he does better. But we got a beautiful fish right here. Doesn't have any whiskers, his fins shoot off. Those fish in that creek were definitely beating him up. So we're gonna get him added in here and hopefully he does better. But that cold weather is really bad for the fish. In this next net though, we do have all these guys right here. We're gonna get them added into the cichlid tank as well. Let me see if there's anybody else left in here. No, it seems like this is all the fish we have left. I will double check the bucket, matter of fact. Let's get in there real quick. This water is freezing, but we're gonna get these guys added into the 120 gallon tank as well. So hopefully they all do good. We'll see how they adjust to it. Is that a regular tilapia? Oh, that one fish isn't looking good. This might be a regular tilapia. We are putting him in the bait cooler. <laughs> <laughs> but that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you did. If you enjoyed this style more than my regular ones, let me know, I'll do more of them. And let's get, I hope you guys had a good day. Deuces.